here you are face to face with what you can become but the man looking at it is not the kind of man that enters you enter into a door that was designed for you and they say no not you because the version who saw the vision is not the version that will fulfill it there must be preparation and years of aggressive addressing of yourself don't pity yourself in preparation allow god stretch you don't pity yourself you can't see it oh the bible said he saw sought he sought for his better with tears for years he sought for it but we made the choices made the choices one of the things the devil used to destroy people's future is anxiety anxiety is that irresistible urge to try to do things by your senses because it looks like God is too slow that was what happened to Saul when Samuel oh God Samuel said to Saul he said go and sacrifice he said wait wait for me wait I'm coming to sacrifice wait for me and Saul was observing look at the people they are going this one is going this one is going what's the business of Saul with who is going or who is staying and the moment he sacrificed and did all those things he was still on it then Samuel came you know what Samuel said Samuel said it is today today that your kingdom would have been established forever there will have been no need for a David anymore it will have been the sure message of Saul today he said but now it has been taken from you and given to your neighbor and when he held the garments of Samuel and he tore in his hands so that is the exact way your kingdom will be turned away are you seeing how pressure of a moment can make a man miss God God said I've called you to ministry you don't say I want to make money first who told you that generational gates are opened all the time who told you that those God is killing you see let me tell you something you have people that are your generational age mates those that God has designed that all of you are to begin to do certain things around the same time. Who told you that you will always be able to come back? You can kill with the next five generations because you missed your time. You will not miss your time. One moment, it is looking like it. One moment, don't you remember the number of people you had in secondary school that when they want to act drama and choreography, they look like the children that will become promising. We were used as devils for drama. Maybe for the shape of our head. But now God. Maybe you have even locked yourself and cried. And said look at these ones. Look at how promising their life is. And life begins to happen. And you begin to see everybody make different choices. And the man that looked like was heading there. Suddenly you can't find him again. There is a gate of generation. It doesn't remain open for life. It will open at a moment. It looks like you are the best. It looks like you are the only one who knows how to do it. May you maximize the season. 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 When that time comes, it looks like you are the best at what you are doing. But it is a season. No season lasts forever, whether good or bad. No season. No season. Go and check church history. You look at people like Pastor here at Debwe. You look at people like Reverend W.F. Kumui. You just notice there is something very similar about the timing. And at the same time, those who failed, they failed for the same thing around the same time. I showed you last week how that Jacob called Reuben and called Reuben in the midst of his brethren and said, Reuben, my firstborn, the beginning of my might, my strength, the excellency of dignity he said but unstable as water and what he gave him he said you will not excel why he said because you went into your father's couch and you defiled it and while he was talking joseph was wondering the same pressure came it was not for my father's couch it was for potiphar's couch the pressure you are feeling now is not for you alone it is for those who are contesting for the mantle wherever they are all over the world it is he that bought himself from this 
may you survive in the secret place may i announce to you you look at yourself and say why is this pressure that strong no you are not alone in it the same affliction is accomplished in your brethren that are in the world everyone who seem to be asking god give me this mountain he said you must pass this test first and you think hey, i'm just in lucky i'm the only one facing this no no you have a brother who is also in Kano. That if you come out, you will meet each other in destiny. But if you fail, you will watch him from afar. And you will know this is what I could have become. But I'm no longer the man for it. One of the most tragic things in life is to see people who are doing what you were designed to do. But you know you can't do it. There's nothing more painful than that. When you are telling your children's story, we started together. And they are asking, Daddy, what happened? Mommy, what changed? You will not tell the story of failures you will not tell the stories of failures you will not tell the stories of failures may, may i beg us there, there is something that is handed to us now that we don't know the value these gates don't open for life no i remember you see ah i remember when god said to me he said son i know you have finished you are not going to serve yet. Stay with me in the place of prayer. And I will wake up every blessed day. I was teaching first. And he said, resign. And I will carry my bag. And I will dress up. And go to a place where I will lock up the door from morning till night. And sometimes I will cry. He says, stay there. One year, two years. I went for service. I said, thank God. Now is the opportunity for me to go and use my life the way I want. I can go and get my job. I already got a job at Futa Health Center. He said, go back to the life and finish what you started. I thought it was a joke. I was not released from that burden until after many years of finishing. I will wake up in the morning. I still spent five more years in obedience to that. That when I enter the midst of people and they are asking, what do you do for a living? This one say, okay, I'm working with this NGO. You, what do you do for a living? I work with a bank. You, what do you do for a living? with this you what do you do for a living i can't tell them i pray for a living you tell them you pray for a living even pastors will look at you as a failure you mean at this young age but it is god who knows what he's preparing you for i remember i would wake up every morning hold the window of the house and shake it and cry i'm not a lazy man look at me and let me go look at my men look at them but no except a grain of wheat first fall to the ground and dies there is a death phase when they look at you and they say you have failed. The Bible says it abides in you. But when it falls and dies, it will spring forth again. And bring forth in 60s and hundreds. Nobody shoot an arrow forward. No, you first launch it back. If you look at it at that moment, you say this is a failing one. But when it is released, the more you stretch, the farther it goes. You are not failing. God is stretching you. God is stretching you. But may you come out victorious in this season. Let me tell you something. When people fail in the secret place, it is not loud. It is years later that will tell that there was something God started where he did not see the light of the day. You can see those he started it together. May you, I beg you, go back to what God was doing. Go back to what God was doing. God, it is already getting, are you aware? It's already getting fussy now, foggy now, like, like, like spider webs is covering it. No longer have a prayer company. Something is changing. You are no longer the same one. Your think, your reasoning is changed. You are becoming bitter and sad. Life is happening to you. You were sharp, even without money, but when you were in the presence. Go back. I sense to tell somebody the door is still opened. You can still catch up with the gate of that generation. You can. You can. You can. You can. When this door is shut, it is painful. I've heard some of the fathers talk to me sometimes. And while they are talking, they will say, Ah, and we remember Prayer Maker. They say, But sin swept them away. What God started with you on campus, He was not flashing you, He was preparing you. Don't transact it away. It's not a flash. Lift your hands and say, Lord, before this door shuts, bring me back. Restore my lost fire. The clarity I once had, the sense of precision, the awareness that this is where we are going. Restore. 
restore. I, I need to pray this prayer like your life depends on it. Take a moment. Restore. Restore. Restore my lost fire. Restore. What did he start? Where are you now? Where are you in the plan? What happened to the vision? What happened to what he said? Where is your prophecy note? When was the last time you opened it? When was the last time you were free to jot anything in it? When was the last time you had clarity? When was the last time you did something that you were sure this is God? When was the last time you functioned with a sense of precision? Is it getting to this? Just work now. The remaining part of your life, you are still young. You can't get it back. You can. You can get it back. You can get it back. You can get it back. Cry your eyes out to the Lord. All to the horns of the altar. You sit in me. I don't care how much I'm making now. I recognize. If this is not the future you showed me, it is not. I don't care the opportunities I have. I can have you, Lord. I can get back to the words you said. I remember what you said on campus. I remember the prophecies that went ahead of me. I remember the things you said you will do with my life. I remember what you said. I might have made mistakes, but your mercy can restore lost times. Your mercy can restore. I cannot fail this one. Oh Lord, help me. I cannot fail my Lord. I must not feel his cause. There is prophecy over me. I cannot fail this one. I cannot fail my Lord. I must fulfill his cause. There's the spirit inside me. He is the Holy Ghost. Higher. Higher. 